أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما آمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا أحل القرآن I hope and pray that you all are in the best state of health and iman آمين الحمد لله So today inshallah let's learn the next three ayahs of Surah Yasin inshallah uh, First I'm going to recite these ayahs inshallah after that let's look into Tajweed rulings أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وآية لهم الأرض الميتة أحييناها وأخرجنا منها حبا منها حبا فمنه يأكلون وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل وأعناب وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم أفلا يشكرون الحمد لله very easy ayahs الحمد لله now let's look into Tajweed rulings of these ayahs Focus on every ruling while well, I'm telling its ruling because this is the very easiest and simplest way where you can improve your tajweed. That is by understanding the rulings of each letter of Quranic ayah. Subhanallah. Even though after knowing these rulings and after practicing, if you're not able to understand and if you're not able to pronounce tajweed correctly, it will be very difficult for you to find any other way which is more simpler than this because. First you have already completed the basic tajweed and then now you are applying that in the Quran, right? And you will have to practice. This is the only one thing to improve your tajweed. Fine? And it is very important. Don't neglect this because we are learning the book of Allah and it is up to us that now we have to practice it and recite the Quran in a way it should be recited with its true recital inshallah. So don't ignore any of your mistakes. Kindly point down. Or write down your mistakes when I do your assessment and try to put an effort on it and correct it. Okay, inshallah. Let's now look into Tajweed rulings. And number 33. Okay. Hamza for two count because you can see the standing fatha here. Ayatun. Tanveen is followed by Lam. And we are learning this ruling from three to four classes where when Tanveen or Noon Sakyan is followed by Lam or Ra, then we won't recite that Tanveen, right? We don't say Wa Ayatun. Instead, we will say Wa Ayatul, right? Directly Lam with Tajdeed on it. This meme is connected to Lam, okay? This is very important here because this Rasakin is heavy, this Dad is heavy, but this Hamza must be light. Many sisters do this mistake that they will pronounce Hamza as well heavy and it will sound like Ordu. O is wrong. A, A. Hamza is light. But Rasa Kin of Dod must be heavy. Wa ayatullahumul ardu. Aur. Aur. Okay. Ardu. Now Dod is connected to Lam. Al ardul maita. Dod is connected to Lam. Maita. Not maita. 
mai mai okay i kind of sound mai ta can you see these both are ta right this is also ta and this is also a letter ta but this ta is usually the round ta is called as the feminine ta which is used to indicate that this word is feminine fine if you stop at this kind of round ta this will convert to round ha this ha which is here okay it will convert to this ha so while stopping at this waqf al jayz you will say al mai ta ta that ha kind of sound should be there at the end while stopping and that is compulsory add sakin and convert this ta to ha inshallah but while continuing you should recite it just like ta how to recite wa ayatul lahumul ardul maytatu ahyaynaha maytatu you will recite but while stopping maytah okay wa ayatul lahumul ardul maytah ahyaynaha ah see how sharp this ha is this sharpness is only the key to separate this ha from this ha both these ha's are from the throat but this ha is from middle part of a throat and this ha which is in the word lahum is from the last part of your throat okay you have to make this ha very sharp if you say ahyaynaha then this word will become meaningless how to pronounce it ahyaynaha this ha from last part this ha from the middle part of your throat inshallah ahyaynaha yai ya with fatha followed by ya sakin yai yai okay ahyaynaha noon stretch for two haraka because of this standing fatha and ha is stretched due to this alif maddiya okay احييناها واخرجنا واخرجنا را must be heavy جيم with the قلقله how to make قلقله واخرج رج اوكي واخرجنا نون stretch for two count ان شاء الله واخرجنا منها no gunna on this noon sakin don't say minha this is wrong minha minha just is har where you're going to touch the makhraj of noon sakin that's it okay no holding it in nasal cavity minha half a two count habban there are many has here in this aya from which you can differentiate between the two has one is from aqsal halaq the last part of a throat another is from middle part of a throat wasatul halaq this is from last part minha this is ha actually which is here a small ha okay this is another ha fine minha habban the second hal just look how sharp it is habban fine alhamdulillah minha habban then when is followed by fa you have to do ikhfa where you should hide its sound in nasal cavity for two count habba fa minhu fa minhu same way again noon sakin with no gunna now because it is followed by ha the throat letter is har is done inshallah minha habba fa minhu yaqulu this hamza is pronounced with jerk a cut off sound there is one thing called as qalqala where you have to bounce the sound another which is called as qata qata means cutting off the sound completely if you say ya ya it means you are doing qalqala ya u that kind of sound should not be there how to cut off ya ya as if you are just stopping the sound completely ya kulu okay and you can stretch this lam for two four or six count according to the ruling of madul adil the sukun inshallah now let's recite this aya wa ayatul lahumul ardul mayta ahyaynaha wa akhrajna minha ha 
habba minha habba fa minhu yaqulun wa ja'alna fiha jannatin min nakhil wa a'nab wa a'nab wa fajjarna fiha min al'uyun okay wa ja'alna fiha wa ja'alna wow jim and ain for one one haraka and make sure to pronounce ain clearly if you say wajalna wajalna the meaning of a word will completely change because this word is made up of main three letters ja'ala ain is compulsory here okay wajalna noon for two haraka wajalna fiha fi ha to to count inshallah فيها جنات نون مشدد تو حركة غنة and also you'll have to stretch it for two count because there is a standing فتحة right if there was just just a حركة like this like فتحة then it is جنات but now there is standing فتحة so it is جنات No, you have to stretch it, and this is a major mistake which many students are doing. Common mistake. Okay, you should not do this. It is not jannat in here. It is jannat in. Then mean is followed by mean, so you have to do the gham ma al gunna where you have to merge the then mean with mean. Do two count gunna. Jannat in min like two count gunna. جنات من okay now noon is followed by this noon so you have to merge both the noons and do gunna for two count min nakhilin min nakhilin in this way okay min nakhilin kha must be little heavy not so much as the other huruf al mustaliya because it In all the huruf al mustaliya, the heavy letters. This is a bit lighter one. Okay, not so much heavy. Just make little heavy like na khi khi. Okay, min na khi lin. Then min is followed by wow. What we have to do here? Idgham with gunna. The sound produced here will sound like na khi liwa liwa. Can you see? I'm holding that sound in nasal cavity. Liwa in this way, okay? Min khiliwa anabin wa anabin. When ain and hamza comes together, it will be very difficult for few sisters, especially, to recite ain clearly because both are throat letters, right? Here, many students will end up pronouncing ain first, like wa anabin a. No, you have to first pronounce Hamza, then Ain. Wa Aal, Aal. Okay. Wa Aalna bin Ain must be clear, inshallah. Wa Aalna bin Wa Fajarna. Same thing again. Tanwin is followed by Wow. You have to do Gunna just like how you did here. Nakhiliun Wa. Now here. ویسے It should sound very harder, like wa fa jarna ja ja, not ja. Fine, wa fa jarna. Rasakin is heavy here. Wa ana bin wa fa jarna. Rasakin heavy. Noon for two haraka, inshallah. Wa fa jarna fiha fi. Ha, both fall two to count. 
فيها من العيون نون is connected to lam inshallah and ain must be clear don't pronounce it like hamza it is not uyun it is ru ru okay ain should be clear always or else the word will completely change or become meaningless and we cannot make any word of the quran meaningless right because this is a word of allah if you are not pronouncing ain clearly till now you have to inshallah practice it because you have already re- reached the 35 ayahs of surah yasin right so make sure to pronounce ain correctly فيها من العيون. This wow, you can stretch for two, four, or six harakah according to the ruling of Madul Arid Lissakun. Inshallah. Okay, let's recite this ayah now. وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل وأعناب. وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم أفلا يشكرون أوكي Liyakulu, here Hamza is pronounced with jerk, a cut-off sound, but not qalqala. I'm repeating this again and again tomorrow, inshallah, while reciting to me, you'll have to be focused in these two words. Okay, one word is here, yakulun, another is here, liyakulu. In both the places, your Hamza should be sounded like cut-off sound, not like a qalqala. Okay, liyakulu. لِيَأْكُلُوا لَمْ to count inshallah مِنْ ثَمَرِهِ نُون سَاكِن followed by سَ you have to do إِخْفَى here hiding نُون سَاكِن into count غُنَّا inshallah and also this سَ is very important you cannot say سَمَرِهِ if you make any kind of whistling sound in this letter سَ then you are converting this سَ one second to this letter seen okay the seen is different this sa is different this has a sound like sa si su and this sounds like sa si su with lot of breath coming out and how to pronounce this letter sa the tip of the tongue should touch the upper incisor teeth the edges of your front teeth okay upper front teeth inshallah Mi This Lam Alif. Can you see this Lam Alif sign here? This is where you should not stop. Okay. Better you don't stop at this point. If you stop and continue from here, that there can be a change in the meaning of an ayah, or the meaning of an ayah can be completely be different. It will give a different angle of an ayah. So better you don't stop here. Just continue. Okay, even if you stop here due to the break in your breath, then it is compulsory that you have to go back and recite again. Okay, inshallah. لِيَأْكُلُوا مِنْ ثَمَرِهِ وَمَا عَمِلَتْهُ وَمَا To haraka وَمَا عَمِلَتْهُ I'm clear. It should not sound like Hamza. And this ta is a letter of hums. Hums means continuation of your breath, right? It should sound like amilets hu. Let, let. Can you see that ta, ta kind of sound? It should not sound like amilet hu. Let, let. See the ta is not clear. To make it clear, you should say amilet hu. Amilet hu aidi him. Ai, not a, ai. Dihim. Dal must be stretched for two count. Just don't say Aidihim. Aidihim is wrong. Here you can see this ya maddiya, right? Aidihim. This ta means Waqfal mutlaq. Absolute stopping. Better to stop at this point. It is completely better. Let us stop here. Take a new breath and continue from here. Okay, inshallah. And if you stop, this meme is pronounced with sakina and with no gunna. 
just izhar while stopping even while continuation you will not do any gunna because it is izhar shafawi okay amilat hu aydihim afala yashkurun afala afa to one one haraka lam for two count afala yashkurun sheen with a shashing sound yashkurun ra with dhamma must be heavy and this wa madya stretch for two four or six haraka inshallah لِيَأْكُلُوا مِنْ ثَمَرِهِ وَمَا عَمِلَتْهُ أَيْدِيهِمْ أَفَلَا يَشْكُرُونَ الحمد لله we have completed learning three ayahs and i hope these three ayahs are easy for you we are just learning maximum nine ayahs in a week and i hope we are going slowly and it is uh, and you're finding it easy to just um i mean read and recite only 9 to 10 ayahs a week okay and kindly focus on your mistake i'm repeating this again and again because i've seen few sisters are ignoring their mistakes even though tomorrow if i tell you that you're reciting these letters wrongly you just don't focus on it and you repeat the same mistake in the next class and this way you will not improve right you're doing this for the sake of allah and with the intention to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by reciting the quran in the way it was revealed subhanallah how blessed it is that allah has given us all the opportunity to learn his kalam for every second you're spending here it is like you're worshiping allah subhanallah it is so good so make sure don't do wa- not to waste this time and try to practice well inshallah okay because later on you'll have to teach your kids as well to recite quran beautifully inshallah so now uh, i'm going to turn your mics on inshallah Let's recite this ayah for many times. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. A'udhu billahi minash
وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل من نخيل وأعناب وفجرنا وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم أفلا يشكرون أفلا يشكرون أفلا يشكرون وآية لهم الأرض الميتة أحييناها وأخرجنا منها حبا فمنه يأكلون وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل وأعناب وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون In this ayah, there are a lot of places where you have to do two haraka gunna. I'm going to highlight it. Inshallah, you will recite it in the same way. Okay. وَجَعَلْنَا فِيهَا جَنَّاتٍ مِّن نَخِيلٍ وَأَعْنَابٍ وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم 
Very beautiful ayahs and how pleasant it feels to recite the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. So if you have any doubts uh, in, resi- in these ayahs, you can ask me inshallah. Any doubts? No doubts? Okay, fine. Alhamdulillah. So kindly recite this in this way, just like how we learn today because the zayas are very easy and focus on your mistakes and repeating this because especially WhatsApp students maybe are making a lot of mistakes. Online students are reciting well. The students who are uh, just sending their recitations on WhatsApp are making mistakes because you don't attend the online class and so you'll not understand the uh, letter by letter tajweed kindly watch the video again and again and practice well inshallah and don't think that you're wasting time because this is a word of Allah each and every second which you spend here is like you're worshipping Allah subhanallah it's so great so let's end the meeting now inshallah subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yusifun wa salaman ala al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh jazakum Allah khairan وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته